As an example of those new freedoms, students were never allowed to skip lunch period and cook in the classroom. This is a German class at Grand Prairie High School, and this is the end of a unit on German food. Students who take foreign languages nowadays don't just learn participles and conjunctives. They learn about knockwurst and champignon salat. The students cooked German food for their families. They visited German restaurants. And teacher Betty Adams says learning the culture and social customs make learning the language a breeze. It's a little bit different from just a regular classroom situation where all they do is write and read. This is happening, happening a lot more in education nowadays. Does it make it harder or easier on you as a teacher? Um, harder because of all the planning that goes into it, but easier because the students really get turned on. They get turned on to education, and that's what we're here for. To test the true worth of the German class's many worst fest, we went to a real expert, teacher Maren Seipel. Some of the things look really German. Yeah. They taste really German. Yes, I think. I haven't tasted the Schwarzwälder Kirsch, but that looks really German and probably tastes really German. And all the, the cheese back there, that real bitter cheese, it does, I don't think it tastes very good to Americans. They're not used to any such harsh stuff. It tastes real bitter and real, real, real German. It's hard sarkis and it's just a special kind of German cheese. So would they get an A in cooking? Uh, I didn't understand. Would they pass the grade in cooking? I'm the worst cook in the world, but they would pass my grade, that's for sure. <laughs> Many parents complain that all the extracurricular, like this food tasting party, is uncalled for. What they want is a return to the basics. They say that all the fun and frills is one reason that student aptitude test scores are falling nationwide. But teacher Betty Adams says the fun stuff keeps her class interested. Are they good students? She says yes. And now she says they're good cooks, too. Betty Hoover, Channel 8 News at Grand Prairie High School.